Hey what's up guys it's Maple Storia. welcome back to another video. Today I decided that I would like to do something a little bit different, so I'll be showing off the laptop I use for all my daily tasks and YouTube videos. Now before we begin this video, do note that I am not sponsored by Asus or any other company that happens to show up in this video. All opinions are strictly my own, so let's jump right into it. So guys, here is my laptop, it's the Asus K401UQ. Out of the box you get this computer with a charger, so it's pretty basic. Anything else that comes with it is gonna be listed as follows. The computer comes with a Intel Core i7-6500U processor. So with this kind of processor, you don't really have to worry about anything going wrong with your daily tasks such as Word documents or web browsing. It also comes preloaded with Windows 10 Home, so many of you will be familiar with this operating system and getting this computer to work shouldn't be too much of a problem. The memory that comes with this is 12GB of RAM and it can be expanded up to 32GB. The display we have on this is a 14 inch Full HD LED backlit panel and it features some anti-glare technology. My computer has a screen protector that has a matte finish on it, but out of the box it comes with a shiny screen. The for graphics cards that we have on this is the Nvidia GeForce 940MX with 2GB of virtual RAM. The GPU, it is not the most powerful one, but you would be able to handle most games without a problem. It also comes with NVIDIA's optimized technology so you can switch between the built-in Intel 520 graphics card automatically, so it will maximize your battery life in the long run. For storage, this model came with 512GB of SSD, so it really gives you some very fast data transfer rates, and you wouldn't be using up 512GB very soon either. We also have a chiclet keyboard on this computer. Now this keyboard is really nice to type on. It has 1.6mm of key travel. It also has the home page up, page down and end buttons, as well as the different media keys. In F1 we have a sleep, in F2 we have airplane mode, F5 dim brightness, F6 up brightness, F7 turn off monitor, F8 switch screens, F9 disable touchpad, F10 mute, F11 reduce volume, and F12 increase volume. These do come in very handy. Now with this keyboard, I find people with big hands such as myself typing on it really comfortably. Here's a video showing you how I do on the keyboard. Now I'm not the fastest typer around, but the keyboard really gives me some accurate keystrokes as you can see. Over here I'm on typeracer.com where you can see for yourself how fast I type. They give you a paragraph of text to type down, and they measure the words per minute for you, as you can see me in the top lane over there with 100 plus words per minute. Now the computer also comes with an SD card reader. It is a multi-format card reader which can take in SD or SDHC or SDXC cards. However, you do want to take note that when you put in these cards, they don't go in all the way. They just kind of stick around and hang there at the corner. The webcam on this is a VGA web camera. It's not the best quality. Without good light, your face or your videos recorded will be very grainy and unclear, but that's to be expected of a computer. For the networking capabilities, it has Wi-Fi and it is AC rated Wi-Fi. So that means you'll be able to get 5 GHz connections for that extra internet speed. The hardware is also pretty impressive. We have a single 3.5mm combo audio jack, so this means that can, you can plug in headsets or microphones or earpieces without a problem. It also comes with the built-in technology from Asus that lets you switch between these modes seamlessly. It also features two USB 3.0 ports on the left side of the computer and two USB 2.0 ports on the right side of the computer. There's also an ingeniously built RJ45 LAN jack for the LAN insert or your Ethernet cables as most of you may call it. There's also a full-size HDMI port. Now for the audio on this, we have Asus Sonic Master speakers. So here is an audio sample.
For the battery, we have 3 cells 48 watt hours batteries and this claims to be able to give you up to 8 hours of simple computer usage. Most of the time however, I find myself maxing out at around 6 hours with this computer. The computer is by no means small. It measures 34cm across and 24cm wide. And the height on this is around 2 centimeters, so it's not a thin notebook. However, for this size, it is pretty light at 1.65 kilograms with the battery. So I find myself having no problems carrying this to school or what. Other features included in this computer would be the indicator lights on the front of the computer. We have the power indicator, the battery indicator, the processor indicator, the airplane mode indicator and the caps lock indicator which is a nice touch to have. Overall, the design is a complete aluminium finish and it feels really solid in the hand. There is very little screen flex and the keyboard does not dent near the center as well. And it also looks pretty good, considering the brushed aluminum finish on the cover, and the sleek bottom profile. Overall, for this price, apart from building your own computer, I would find that this is a really good deal from Asus, and I would recommend it to anyone who is interested for a budget computer. However, it does come preloaded with quite a bit of Asus crapware, so you have to get rid of those by yourself, but that is a one-off issue when you first purchase it and shouldn't be a problem in the long run. One last thing to note is that the computer is very quiet. The fan speed even when at maximum is barely noticeable. And it also features Asus's cool keyboard technology, so it makes sure that you don't burn your hands with those intense gaming sessions as the keyboard is set to max out at around 35 degrees celsius. Well that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed my review. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked the video review and found it comprehensive. Subscribe for more of these similar videos and let me know in the comments section what can be improved on. I am new to this sort of categories of videos, so I would love to hear your opinions. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Which is something quite technical. You guys ask me, what do you do 